hello guys welcome to jd tutorials in this video we will learn how to call azure rest api using c sharp this is the fifth part in the series we have already covered the last four parts that is creating a service principle in azure using powershell how to get Azure Access Token using Postman then we saw calling Azure REST API using Postman then finally we came in the programming using C Sharp where we got the Azure Access Token now in this part we will be calling Azure REST API using C Sharp before starting if you have not subscribed to channel just pause the video for a few seconds and click on subscribe so welcome to azure resource manager bot let's get started this is the last project we had covered getting the azure access token using c sharp now we will be continuing from this project itself i'll be putting this link where you can get the source code from the github repository you can clone the this code from the github and continue doing the demo let me quickly create get resource group and create resource group methods okay now we have our methods ready get all resource group details create resource group and make request and let us go through each method for getting the all the resource group we will need a http client we will need a address address uri will be management.azure.com slash subscription then the subscription id the subscription id is available in azure you can get it from there next these are the headers we are passing so it requires one header that is bare access token this we have already seen in postman where first we got the access token and then we pass the value while calling the get all resource group details api here also we are doing the same thing then we are making an http request using this method we are making get request and we are passing to this method make request async so in this method it will get the response we are checking any error message is coming in the response or not if at all any error message is coming you can pass any catch statement over here and we are returning the response here is the method calling first we are getting the access token and saving in access token variable there is a property we have already declared then we are calling the get all resource group details here and in this one whatever response we got from make request async we are passing into our property response and we are printing it on the console the next is creating a resource group this is also the same process here we will need the subscription id and what resource group you want to create the name of the resource group you have to provide we are declaring this resource group name at the class level here you can provide the resource group name over here the next again it requires the access token also it requires a json body in the body we give the location at what location you want to create your resource group 
Similarly, this location property variable is already declared at the class level. You'll have just give the value to it. I'll be providing the link for getting all the location codes. And it is of the format application slash JSON. Now this will be the put request because we are making change to the existing existing subscription. Now same we are calling the make request because it will be making the request and getting the response. Then we are saving the response and printing it on the console. Let me quickly fill all these values and show you the output. I have given all my configuration details. Now I will be giving the location. Let me give the location code as east to us and the resource group I will be creating is jdbots rg. This will be the my resource group name. Now just quickly run this one debug start without debugging. We have our response. The first response is this much where we got all the resource group details present in our subscription. Next response we got the creation of new resource group that is JDBots RG at the location East US. Fine. Great. In the next video will combine all this learning and implement in our chatbot in a conversational manner so that whenever user communicates with our bot to utilize the Azure services will be implementing all this in our chatbot these are just the basics we have learned will go little bit advanced in our bot the bot will be creating using Microsoft bot framework and we'll be deploying that bot into Azure. Thank you all.